the three children aged between 10 and 13 years old are said to have been swept away by flood waters after river galana burst its banks there are also fears that hundreds of other people could be displaced in the area after river sabaki busted banks in areas of bate dagamara lokole and admai in margarini sub county in kilifi county Elsewhere, motorists plying along Embu Meru Highway have been advised to exercise caution while driving to avert being swept away by raging flood water. Mara Ospidi Johnston Kabusia said fog and mist was making the visibility very poor and, and drivers should move slowly on the slippery roads. <laughs> mbele ukiwa naendesha kwa hizo barabara zetu kwa sababu ya kuna mambo ya foki foki ni In Isiolo County, one person was swept away at Sokomjinga area Thursday evening. A 30-year-old man identified as Bisha Khalif had attempted to cross a flooded bridge even after he had been warned of the raging floods. Sikitika ya kuwa, katika hii mkasa ya maji, imebeba mtu monja na mwili yake imeorokoto pale kwa shamba ya prison. Leo, tukona uzuni kwa sababu ya maji bile imefurika, tumekosa maali ata ya kufuka. Kufuka kutoka muangaza, paka kulamawe, imekua nishinda kubwa. Watu wamejenga kwa barabara, wameleta maji mali moja. Sasa, iyo mutaro uwezi ukapita. Tunaomba ombi kwa serikali. Ichukua atua mara moja. Na kama imeshindwa, yereza wanainchi tumeshindwa. Wanainchi wajua na mnagani. Ni kwa jiri, sisi ya tuta kubari. Watu wa muke, wajenge, wazuiria barabara katika njia zao. Ikierekezwa kwa wanainchi ambao wanyonge. Elsewhere, residents of Baringo County have been put on high alert with those residing in landslide prone regions and lower grounds directed to immediately vacate. My appeal to the residents is that they should be on alert. Mm -hmm. They should be on alert and ensure that at any given that time they should be able to or should be ready to move to safer grounds in the event that we have floods on their areas or, or on the areas where they live. Locals residing in Sabalani, Eldume, Gambao, Kampia Sampa, Kampia Samaki, Kiserian, Mogotia Sacho, Siro, Kapropita, Talai, which are prone to landslide and floods, have been urged to be on the lookout. And it's to have other stakeholders like a National Education Board who have machinery. Uh, we have also other departments like uh, roads and infrastructure who also have machinery. Uh, we also have um, uh, the NDMA who are our partners. We, we've mobilized machinery and they are on a standby to ensure that in case of any eventuality, our response will be as quick as possible. In Nairobi, motorists flying Moto Amawe, a bridge in Earth River, have expressed safety concerns after the bridge began caving in following the ongoing heavy rains. According to locals, heavy downpour witness on Thursday swept away the bridge, prompting police officers to close the road for the better part of last evening, diverting vehicles to Kangunda Road. Though Kenha engineers are said to have temporarily repaired part of the bridge, motorists are still worried that it could still collapse. Friday morning traffic jam had extended for two kilometers to Athi River as only one vehicle was allowed to cross the bridge at a time. The Ministry of Education has issued an advisory directing all county directors in areas prone to floods to suspend classes for safety of the children. In Wingi, two bodies of three people who drowned while in a lorry ferrying charcoal at Nzui River in Mwingi have been recovered. Five people had drowned in the river on Thursday and two among them managed to swim to their safety. And 100 passengers and motorists flying Kitale Lodwa, South Sudan Broad have been left stranded after floods swept away Kainuk Bridge. The motorists have been left stranded for over 10 hours now after the Takwell River busted banks. All major seasonal rivers have started flowing and the dangerous river Kale Morok in Turkana South is now flooding and has destroyed a drift that was recently constructed by Kenha. Lena Smashigadi for Channel One News.